So we decided to stay in a tiny house in Coffs Harbor and this is it. So it's very cozy and it's kind of spacious considering that it has not even 2.5 in width. This is the kitchen, it has everything that you need in Airbnb. A good size sink, a two burner cooktop, a toaster, kettle, coffee machine and also a microwave. All the appliances are here, so everything that you need is here as well. So these are the stairs where you kind of go to the to the loft area and they can they can be like squeezed to the side so that they don't occupy too much space. Uh, Frederick quite liked this space because he could go up and down and up and down and up and down. He really liked it. So the loft area is quite nice, we spend most of our time here, like watching a movie at night uh, because the couch is not that comfortable, it's nice to eat but I mean if you want to relax this is the place and I kind of like the ceiling, I mean it makes the, the house very cozy from the inside yeah and I mean we ended up sleeping very well here, we were initially thinking that it was going to be uh, a little small and claustrophobic but it wasn't the case. Yeah. It was quite nice. This is the bathroom. It's not very, very large, but I mean, it's spacious enough for us to take a shower, take a dump. There's an exhaust fan, a light. Yeah, it's nice for one or two nights, but it's, uh, it doesn't have its own sink or the vanity. So we had to wash our uh, teeth in, in the kitchen. Now we can check the outside, which is quite nice as well. We didn't re really use it because we spent most of our time out of the house. It was quite cozy to stay here for two nights while we are on our way to Byron Bay. Now, if you're in Coffs Tower for only one day, there's only two places to go. Dorigo National Park and Look At Me Now Happened. And have you ever seen anything like this before? <laughs> 